The details of how to uh, connect a transform in an instance are, uh, are elsewhere, so I just want to give you a quick review of it, um, just so you have a chance to see it again. What I want to do is I want to apply this transform, sample info type and access structure XSL, to this file, sample info type and access structure .xml. To begin that process, I click the little wrench button, and I say create a new transform scenario. I really have to do very little here. Um, I already have the XSL URL. It says the current file, which is what I intend. And now I just navigate to find the XML file that I want to apply that to. And it's the file of the same name in the same folder. So that's nice and easy. Keep an eye on this little transformer guy here. Um, you want to make sure that you're on a Saxon 9 point something. And that's so that your XSL 2.0 transforms will work. But that's not, use, that's not necessary for us right now. Okay, so in output, I want to open the file immediately after I transform in a browser. And I want to save it as a file of the same name, um, a file of the same name in the same folder. Okay, so all of that is pretty straightforward. I click OK here. Now I click, uh, I can click Save and Close. And now I have a transform scenario set up for this XSL. Notice I'm going from the XSL to the XML rather than from the XML file, which I could do. I could set up a transform scenario for this XML file. But since there's usually one XML file and multiple XSLs, it's easier to go from the XSL file and then specify the XML file. Okay, so now that I have this set up, all I have to do is click my little Go button here. I click the Go button, and now I get my transform. It's as easy as that.